Okay, welcome back. Um, this is now question number eight from the January 2020 International A-Level Pure Mathematics Pre P3 um, Edexcel paper. And this is a question here about integration. And they're asking us to find the exact value of this integral, giving your answer in its simplest form. So we've got a definite integral. We've got 42 and 3 to input after we've integrated 2 over 3x minus 1 with respect to x. Okay, now this is the type of integral here where we have, um, it's like of the form 1 over a f like a, a linear function. And this is the type of reverse of the chain rule where you're going to involve lin because it's like the differential of something divided by the original function. So the, the numerator here is of the form of the differential of the denominator. And it's based on the fact that differentiating 1 over x, if I differentiate 1 over x with respect to x, I'm going to get lin of the modulus of x. Uh, sorry, I'm going to, what am I talking about? If I differentiate lin x, we know if we differentiate lin x, I was doing the opposite there, um, you're going to get 1 over x. Okay, so if we differentiate lin x, we're going to get 1 over x. So if we integrate 1 over x, we're going to get the lin of the modulus of x. So this is going to be of the form, when I integrate it, um, I'm going to get 2 times the lin of the modulus of the denominator, 3x minus 1. But I need to divide by the differential of what's inside the function. That's what you do when you're doing reverse of the chain rule. Always divide by the differential of what's inside the function. So I'm going to divide this by the differential of this is what's considered inside the function. This 3x minus 1. So I divide by the differential of 3x minus 1, which is 3. And I have to integrate this between the limits of 42 and 3. So this is going to give me 2 thirds times, I'll take out that constant, I'll have the lin of the modulus of 3 times 42 minus 1 minus the lin of the modulus of 3 times 3 minus 1. Okay, so I'll put the values in now. So I'm going to have here 2 thirds. I have the lin of that's going to be 126 minus 1, which is 125. Now I know that's positive, I don't know how to put modulus anymore. Um, and this is minus the lin of 9 minus 1, which is 8. Okay, so lin 125 and lin 8. No, no, no need for modulus anymore. Okay, so now I, I want to simplify this. So I could simplify this in, in this way. I could write this as one fraction. So 2 thirds times the lin of 125 divided by 8 using the... Uh, the um, subtraction law okay and then I can rewrite this as using the power law lin of 125 over 8 to the power of 2 thirds okay now the power of 2 thirds means the cube root of whatever's in there squared so this actually means the lin of the cube root of this whole fraction but then squared that's what the power of 2 thirds means the denominator is the root and the numerator is the power so I can then write this as the lin of, well, the cube root of 25 is 5, 5 squared is 25 over, and that's going to be the cube root of 8 is 2, 2, two, two, two squared is 4, so I end up with uh, 25 over 4, lin of 25 over 4. I can leave my answer like that. Uh, some people prefer to leave them as whole numbers, so you could even leave it like that, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with either of those answers. Okay, I think the mark scheme will show this one, but it will also note that says this is okay so it's okay for you to leave it in, in this either of these two forms some people insist on, on writing it with without fractions inside the lens which is perfectly fine and they consider that as simplified so either of these two are um, perfectly good answers for part a and now we're going to or part one now we're going to go pop to part two okay so it says here that this function h of x is given by this um, polynomial kind of you know, fraction, it's like a polynomial over a polynomial, algebraic fraction, and it says given that h of x is equal to ax plus b plus c over x minus 1 squared, where a, b, and c are constants to be found, find the integral of h of x. So we have to 
rewrite this in this form here and then integrate it now there's numerous methods we could use to to write this in this form probably the easiest method to use is algebraic long division so that's what I'm going to do but I'm going to write this in expanded form first so I'll write this as x squared minus 2x plus 1 and I'm going to divide that into this expression I'm going to check that make sure there's nothing missing which there isn't you've got x cubed as the highest term minus 7x squared plus 8x and plus 1 so I'm going to divide these so x squared um, times something gives me 2x cubed well that's going to give me 2x squared 2x squared times x then I'm going to multiply 2x squared by these three terms that's going to give me 2x cubed and minus 4x squared and plus 2x okay sorry this should be a, this should be an x here what am I doing okay so x squared times 2x to x squared times 2x gives me 2x cubed so 2x times x squared is 2x cubed 2x times minus 2x is minus 4x squared and 2x times 1 is 2x okay that was a bit of a silly mistake there now we've got to subtract these two lines that gives you 0 that's minus 7x squared plus 4x is minus 3x squared and minus 8 and 8x minus 2x is plus 6x I'm going to bring this one down as well and then I'll say okay minus 3x squared times something gives me um, x, x squared times something gives you minus 3x squared which is minus 3 that's going to give me minus 3 so you're going to have minus 3x squared you're going to have plus 6x and you're going to have minus 3 times 1 which is minus 3 and when you subtract these two these two become 0 and that becomes 1 minus minus 3 which is 1 plus 3 which is 4 so now we've got the answer we can now say that we've got x, x squared minus 2x plus 1 okay um, so we're going to have that hx is going to be equal to so our, we're going to have 2x minus 3 and going to have plus 4 over this was x minus 1 squared originally okay so now we have h of x in the form we need it and now we have to integrate and it's just the indefinite integral so we have to remember to put the plus c at the end of 2x minus 3 plus 4 over well I'm going to rewrite this in 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 a manner that will help us to integrate it so this is squared I can write this as 4 x minus 1 squared and all of that integrated with respect to x don't forget to put the whole thing in a bracket because they're separate terms here all being integrated with respect to x okay now this is 4x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 not 2 because it was in the denominator so it becomes in the numerator as minus 2 okay so now this is um, ready now to be integrated right now this the reason why I wrote this as in this manner and the last question I didn't do it I didn't write this as 3x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 I didn't do that here that's the reason is because over here if I try to integrate this I add 1 to the power I get 0 and I divide by the new power it'll be undefined divided by 0 will be undefined so that's why you can't do it for this one and we use this form for lin x um, in this question here it's to the power of minus it's the power of 2 underneath so you know this becomes the power of minus 2 which will give us no problem when we integrate it so now when you integrate this this is going to give us 2x squared over 2 minus 3x plus 4 and you're going to have add 1 to the power so it's going to become plus it's going to be minus 2x plus 1 which is minus 2 sorry plus 1 which is minus 1 and divide by the new power which is minus 1 and you also um, multiply the denominator by the differential what's inside the function which is just 1 so that's fine okay so we added 1 to the power divided by the new power and multiplied by the differential of what's inside the function which is just 1 so there we have and don't forget the plus c because this is an in indefinite integral that's going to be x squared minus 3x and this is going to give you minus 4 over x minus 1 plus c and there we have the answer to question number 8 okay so thank you for watching um, this um, particular question will probably be in the integration part of um, my um, you know topic playlist and I'll also place it in the in the um, playlist for this particular paper
Okay, so you'll find this playlist appearing on the screen somewhere at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.